Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Legends of Tomorrow Season 1 Episode 4. This is called White Knights. If you would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Where are we now? Washington, D.C. The year is 1986. We've landed at the height of the Cold War in a world poised for nuclear annihilation. We've traveled here because they have a new lead on Vandal Savage's location. Uh, that's the... Pentagon? No, no. Don't worry, we are cloaked. You want us to break into the Pentagon? Sounds awesome. It sounds crazy. What's the plan? A little bit. Oh, the fabricator will fashion you the necessary Pentagon credentials. Ooh, and don't forget our G-Man disguises. Always wanted to be a spy. Now, the file we're after is kept in a secure records room. In order to gain access, we're going to need to uh, borrow a magnetic keycard. Because this is so much easier than just shrinking down and stealing it. Let me show you how it's done. Old school. <gasps> you okay, ma'am? I wasn't watching where I was going. <laughs> Thank you. Just doing my job. I gotta say, save that was smooth trick. as fuck. Really? You're trying to save the world and you're lifting wallets? It's called multitasking. Records room has closed circuit cameras. We need a diversion. Double or nothing says I put this punk on the pine wood. Yeah, I'll take a piece of that action. We got the file. Okay, now for the tricky part. All personnel are subject to search. Really? That's like the, the diversion the is just some guy's arm wrestling? Long enough for you to exit. Ready when you are. All clear. What did you do, Jefferson? I warned you about the electromagnetic pulse. Now you've touched a neutral wire, causing the power to pass through us. You mean pass through me? If you knew anything about alternating current power. Ray? Yes, Jefferson. Shut up! Oops. Alone. I'm gonna need to see your key card, ma'am. Uh oh. We have a code seven violation. <laughs> oh. We have a slight problem. Been fun though. <sighs> he wasn't exposed. Where is that smoke coming? They didn't know anything about him. We've got the file. What the hell does Kendra think she's doing? I don't know, I think her uh, Good thing is taking over. Oh, Girl. Demigoddess who's gone completely berserk. Abort. I repeat, abort. Get back to the set right now. Rush it what do they do about Kendra? I think you the door. The warrior will take the help and turn our winged Avenger to a cage. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Not, not, not Hunter. The, the guy that Kendra was screwing up, man. Focus on the positive. What are you talking about? It was awesome. We got the file on Savage. Despite the hiccup with the alarm. Oh, so it's my fault now. You know, maybe if you weren't always yammering away in my head, I could actually focus. You have access to 60 years of knowledge and experience. Why not just take advantage of that? Because it's my body on the line out there, not yours. Hey, it's not your fault. Everything would have been fine if Big Bird over here hadn't freaked out. Excuse me? Enough! There is plenty of blame to go around. Unfortunately, Gideon was able to generate a low-end EMP, which erased all the Pentagon's magnetic media. Like security footage? I mean, you're just lucky that the Department of Defense likes to keep incidents like this under wraps. According to the Pentagon, Savage has defected to the Soviet Union. So, the most powerful evil the world has ever known has just gone red at the height of the Cold War. And now he's going to help them cook up something that kills the future. And we are moving far too fast for anyone to track us. I'm afraid that's not true. Someone is tracking us. I thought the ship was cloaked. It is. Boba Fett's back. Cronus must have followed us when we made the jump from the <laughs> 70s. Slow down, drop our cloak, and make as much noise as possible. Whoa, that's like top three on the list of things we definitely shouldn't do. Just trust me. Look, if this is your idea of trying to lose him, then man... Uh-huh. The Soviet Air Force to the rescue. Now let's see how badly Cronus wants to follow us. 
Yeah, but wouldn't you be under attack too? I've got heat seeking missiles closing at a distance of less than a mile. Which is why I need you to cut the engines. Well, wait, don't we need those to land? I said cut them, Gideon. Missiles are now targeting something else. Chronos. I suggest you all strap yourselves in. Ah. So you're gonna be lucky she didn't pull her arms out of the socket. Well, this is still close. Captain. Despite our rough landing, the ship is still fully operational. Varog, god of fire in Slavic mythology. A secret project the Soviets are working on, considering Savage's involvement, most likely some sort of weapon. Valentina Vostok. Graduated top of her physics program and then just dropped out of academia. To help develop Savage's new weapon, no doubt. Cold War's up for grabs. Miss Vostok is the linchpin. I say we put two in the back of her head and call it a day. We have no idea who this woman is or what her effect may be on history. She may be the next Madame Curie for all we know. She's working for Savage. That's all we need to know. She probably has no idea who's backing her research. Just let me approach her as a scientist. And we'll see what she knows about Savage's weapons program. It's 1986. You're American and you don't speak Russian. She'll have you pegged as a spy in a second. Perhaps I can help with that. Ingestible translators. They attach to your larynx via neural interface. Swallow them, you can speak and understand any language spoken to you. Gross. Say something. You don't know your story, Skazash. Wait, I'm still speaking English. I'm speaking Russian now, aren't I? Now you're annoying in multiple languages. Gideon, switch them back to English. Dr. Palmer, you will engage Vostok at the ballet whilst you, Mr. Snart. You're going to be his wingman. Oi. Kendra, she's completely unstable. You saw her at the Pentagon. Psycho priestess Shayara took over and clawed a guard's eyes out. Perhaps Kendra just needs a bit of time. Remember, it was her first time out on the field since Carter's death. No, no, no. Be a body on her hands if someone doesn't get her under control. Just so happens I have the perfect candidate for the job. Oh, I want Sarah to do no. it. No, I was not. I mean, she knows what it's like to lose control. I can think of no one better suited to the task. I'm not a fan of feelings. If Kendra needs someone to talk through her grief with... Kendra needs someone to help her get her warrior side under control. I imagine you, above anyone else, know how to do that. Yeah. He's right. This is a bad idea. Ms. Vostok. Simon Huntsberger. University of Moscow Physics Department. <laughs> I'm not interested in talking to students. I'm actually a fellow scientist. I read your paper on applied physics and nuclear fission. Perhaps if you allow me to take you to dinner, we can discuss in detail. That didn't work. Damn, that was cold. Even by Russian standards. Two months ago, I was a barista. I had no idea I had some psycho hawk goddess inside of me. And then I meet Carter and he convinces me to let her out. And now that he's gone, I can't control it. So thanks for the offer. But I won't risk letting that monster out again. That monster inside you, it's not going to go away. You have to learn how to control her. And how exactly do you expect me to do that? Let's find out. <laughs> Temporal anomaly detected. Kronos. The Russian jet damaged his ship. He's still alive. He went down just outside Moscow city limits. Mr. Rory, how would you like to accompany me on a little mission? Well, I get to use my gun. A near certain likelihood. Lead the way, Captain. I'm in a position to fund your research. That is why I wanted us to meet. Easy, Raymond. You're gonna spook her. I think it's important to know who's funding your research. Don't you think? For instance, Project Svarog. Mm. Sorry, is this man bothering you? Don't trouble yourself. I'm not a damsel in distress. Good, because I'm not a white knight. Perhaps you wouldn't mind walking me home instead. <laughs> oh, he just swooped in and took his spot. Poor Ray. He tried. Is that any way to treat an old friend? Time Master Druce. How on earth did you find me? You haven't exactly been subtle. I thought that you were... Kronos? He was killed in the crash, I'm afraid. I was sent to scuttle his time ship, lest it be discovered by the Soviets. And you left a temporal anomaly. To lure you out of the cold, as it were. 
You've turned your back on the very institution you were meant to serve. Our job is to protect time, thereby protecting all life. I am trying to save the world from complete destruction. I've been authorized to offer you a deal. In this foolish crusade, return with me to the vanishing point. You'll be acquitted of all charges, and in a few hundred years, we may even be able to fix the damage you've caused. And what about my team? They will be returned to their own timelines unharmed, which is more than I can say for Carter Hall. Will you at least consider my offer? Well, how does this I'll stop Savage? Please do, Rin. Then meet me here in an hour. Your friend's planning on killing you. Time Master Truce mm -hmm. is one of my most trusted friends. Besides, if you wanted to do me any harm, why didn't he do it just now when he had the chance? Because he wants you to bring the whole team with you. I think I would believe him, actually. If you want to harness your power, you need to learn to control your fear. Yeah, well, you've been training for half your life to be some cold-blooded assassin, so I really don't think you understand what it's like. Before you can control... Girl, you have no idea what you're talking about. You accept that it's part of you. Push down your emotion. Focus on your opponent. There we go. Kendra? Pissed her off. <laughs> this is when she needs to control her anger. There you go. Well. Oh no. Sarah, chill, man. That went a little too crazy. Both girls went a little Are you sure you don't want nutty. This time of night it's colder than a Siberian winter. Sounds perfect. Though I'm sure we could heat it up. Sadly, mm -hmm. I have business elsewhere this evening. You enjoy the show, Raymond? I think I've got frostbite in some not-so-fun places. Did you tell you what kind of weapon Savage is building? Didn't come up. Other sort of than a steamy goodnight kiss and possible case of hypothermia, we've got nothing. I wouldn't say that. It's Valentina's security badge for a place called Luskovic Labs. Whatever weapon she's building for Savage, we'll find it there. I guess I should just be happy you didn't swipe her wallet. <laughs>